Okay, so before we get started, I am going to use my favorite dry shampoo. This is called Clean Freak by Not Your Mother's. And I just feel like it gives my hair a little bit more volume, especially at the roots. And so I just feel like before I go with heatless curls, I'm going to spray it down a little bit. The great thing about this is it uses clean ingredients, especially if you get the unscented. So that's what I like about it. All right. So first thing you want to do is part your hair down the middle. And then you can either buy like it's kind of like a rod and it's squishy, it's foam, and you put it across here and it comes with clips that you can clamp on there. But I like to use this, which is just off of my robe. And then I drop my, <laughs> hold on here. Uh, where are they? Okay. I dropped my bobby pins. I'm really good at dropping stuff. Okay, so I use my bobby pins to clip this down to make it stay in place. So you wanna go about two inches behind the front of your hair. So about here, maybe two and a half inches back. And then you're just gonna clip it down. And I'm just gonna go like this. It doesn't have to be super tight because as you wrap your hair, it's gonna hold tight on your head from the hair being wrapped. Okay, so you're just gonna grab the first part of your hair. I go about two inches this direction and you are gonna wrap it behind your hair, behind the um, robe, and you're just gonna pull it through like that. And then hold on to this part. And then now I'm gonna do the same thing from back here. I'm gonna go over the top, grab a good section here. Go over the top like this, and then go underneath and back behind, just like that. And then I'm gonna start in the front again. And you wanna make sure you're pulling tight to just keep it, you know, you want like decent curls. I did this on my daughter. The first time I pulled it tight and the second time I didn't and her curls weren't nearly as defined. They were just, I mean, not even really waves. They just didn't turn out as well. So you wanna make sure you pull tight. So again, I just went over and then back underneath. Do the same thing on this side. I kind of grab back there, pull it to the front, and go underneath. So the cool thing about this is I feel like it holds the curls longer rather than using um, like a heat styling product, you know, like a curling iron. So my daughter was in a play, and we she had to have her hair pinned back in curls. And so I was like, well, let's just use a curling iron on it. So for the dress rehearsal, we used a curling iron. She went to school that day. And by the time school was out, before the play was that night, um, her hair had already fallen out. Like the curls did not stay at all. And so I was talking to um, one of her friend's moms and she's like, I just used the heatless curls on my daughter and her hair looked great, it stayed. So that's what we did that night. Her play was the next morning. And so we did the heatless curls and it stayed all day into the night. She had another play that night and they look great, like super soft and smooth. And so this is actually the first time that I'm trying it on my own hair, but after seeing it on my daughter, I know that it should turn out. So back here, you're gonna wanna just make sure you're pulling tight. It's gonna get thicker. You're gonna have more hair to hold on to, but just, Make sure you pull it tight and try to keep it like smooth if you can. Yeah. And just make sure it's pulling tight towards your head. So all I'm doing is just grabbing more and wrapping it around. Kind of reminds me of French braiding. And then as soon as I get, you don't have to like perfectly get the back here but try to get as much as you can. Just gonna add that to it, wrap it around. And I'm gonna do this all the way down. 
I think this is going to be the last piece. Yeah. Last piece for this side. So now I'm just going to pull it tight again, wrap it around. Now all I'm doing is just, I'm not adding pieces to it. I'm just continuing to wrap this around like every other. So I'm going to go around it, pull through, and then do it again here, pull through. And all the way down. And then once you get to the bottom, then all you're going to do is just secure it with a hair tie. And don't forget which direction you're going on it. Okay. All right. I'm going to secure this. And then I'm gonna repeat the exact same process on the other side. And for the sake of time, so you don't have to watch that, I will be right back after I get that side done. And actually, just so you can see, so this isn't hanging all the way down. I usually just double this up. That's what I did with hers anyway when I did it. And then that way, it's not in the way. Okay, I'm gonna do the other side and then I will come back. All right, so I've got both sides done and then you can also just kind of tie this up if you want when you go to bed, like just tie this into a knot if you feel like this is gonna get in the way. I'm probably just gonna sleep like this. Also, if you have like a bonnet, one of those silk bonnets, you could put this all up inside of there and just wear it like that. So totally your preference. Um, I feel like this makes me look like a little kid. <laughs> Uh, it's like I got these braids and instant Botox because it just pulls my forehead back and I'm liking it. <laughs> okay, so now that this is all done, I'm going to go to bed, but I want to spray it with water a little bit just because I feel like if you dampen it, it's going to curl a little bit more and just have more definition. You do not need to soak it. Um, I, especially with my hair like this, it'd take forever to dry if I soaked it. So I'm just gonna get it just a little damp around. That way by in the morning, it'll be dry and I can pull it out and I will show you, show you what it looks like. I'm also gonna link the heatless styling rods down below if you wanna buy the actual rods. Um, if you have a robe, you can always try this out. And I will also include the dry shampoo that I use just because I love it. And this as well. Um, because it's nice to have a continuous spray, water spray, just for all kinds of things, hairstyles and stuff like that. So, all right. I will be back in the morning. All right. It's the next morning. I'm going to go ahead and take this out and show you how awesome these are. The thing I love about it is like there's no heat damage. So I don't have to worry about split ends and it's long lasting. It's great for people with straight hair. Like I was telling you about my daughter. She has used to have naturally curly hair. Look at these curls. So cool. Um, she used to have naturally curly hair and she's just straightened it so much that over time it it's really straight now and so her hair holds curl really well with this whereas you know like I said with a curling iron it doesn't so this is a great option so easy to do and they're pretty frizz free so I'm just gonna undo this hairpin all right go on to this side and if you, I think I talked a little bit about it, but if you want like looser curls or more of a wave, then you're going to not do this as tight. So you're just not going to pull it as tightly. And sometimes in the bottom, you can have kind of a little crinkle from the hair thing, which you could always, you know, either add water and kind of try to smooth that out or you could use a straightener and kind of smooth that area out a little bit if you want. I'll probably just leave it alone. I don't think it's going to make a big difference. So 
like just super easy to take out. There's no tangles. I'm almost done. All right. Here is what they look like. And I can go ahead and brush through this if I want, or just kind of loosen it up a little bit. Oh, that feels good. And that feeling when you've had your hair up for a long time, then you take it out and it just feels so good. I am also gonna add <clears throat> a little bit of jojoba oil, just kind of on my skin, on my hands, and then I'll kind of just rub it through just to smooth out. You can also use like a shine spray if you want but I just feel like this gives it more definition and just takes away any frizz that might be there. So there it is. This is such an easy way to get great curls. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I would be happy to answer them. So you guys have a great day.